What are you talking about? Bleem Kids Extreme. Music lovers. <laughs> First, we will hear a waltz written by Johann Strauss. <laughs> and as we hear the rhythmic strains of the haunting we plain, listen to the whip wing rhythm of the woodwinds as it rolls a wound and a wound, and it comes out here. <laughs> Wasn't that lovely? And now we will present the beautiful Blue Danube. Quack, 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 quack. 
to it. I won't throw it. I can't walk through it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't want no part of it. Listen, you want to eat, don't you? Yeah, Babbitt. I want to eat. I love to eat. Well, then go up and get the bird out of that nest, and we'll eat. But I don't want to fight no bird. I like birds. I go hungry first. What's the matter, Freddy Cat? This is only a tiny little bird. You mean a poor little dinsy wincy itsy bitsy defenseless boy? Yes. Let me at him! Let me at him! I'll get him, baby! Guys, we I'll moonlight him! Let me at him! Take it easy, take I'll it easy! I'll show him! Where's he get that stuff? Don't hold me back! I'll get him! I'll show him! Come on, quit your fooling. Don't get up that ladder. Push me, Abbott! Don't come push on, me! Come on, I'm scared to go up high. I get high. Trophobia. No, oh, I don't want to come on. Up, oh, don't up, push up. me. Oh, come don't. On. You can't make me do it. You can't make me do it. <laughs> he do it. Come on, stupid. Get the bird. Oh. Give me the bird. Give me the bird. If the Hayes office would only let me, I'd give him the point, all right. Under control. Don't push me down in a box, Babbitt. Please don't do it. Don't do it. Hey, Babbitt. Oh, Babbitt. Babbitt. What's the matter now? I'm afraid of the dark. Well, I'll let you out then. I thought I tore a putty tab. I did. I tore a putty tab. save you? Where are you? Speak to me! Speak to me! <laughs> Come on, stop your clowning. What's the matter with you? Aren't you ashamed? I don't know. Why do you do these things? I'm a bad pussycat. Oh, I just can't seem to get the boy. Keep no use. Don't worry. I can't do it. This'll get you up there. Contact. 
Contact, 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 contact. Well, here I is, and I sure feel good. Oh, you feel good, do you? Yeah, I'm just out of the pen. <laughs> All right, now that you're here, what can you do? What can I do? Oh, uh, boss, what I can't do ain't. Well, well, who are you? Who is I? I'm Bosco. That's who I ain't nobody else except but. Bosco, eh? All right, Bosco, show me what you can do. Okay, boss. What's this here? Who's all them folks out there in the dark? Why, the audience, Bosco. Can you make them laugh? Yeah. 
Pardon me, Doc. Fresh out of carrots. Let's eat. 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 Carrot? Mm, 
come out and get a nice carrot, pretty bunny. <laughs> On the contrary, I've got you. Gentle peoples. For my next illusion, I will require the assistance of a small boy from the audience. I shall be happy to assist you, sir. I shall now attempt to run razor sharp swords through the basket. There's nothing for to fear. It's a trick. The swords do not penetrate. No.
morning. Wake up, everybody. Wake up, everybody. Have you had your tasty toasties no. this morning? Good for you. And now for our... Uh, 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 uh. Don't touch no, that no. dial. And now for our morning exercises. Open those windows. Take a deep breath. <laughs> around here. Uh, does he look like this? Yeah, yeah, uh, that's him. No, I have not seen him. <coughs> to three. Do you see that little bag? Uh, you mean uh, the, uh, that one? Yeah. At exactly three o'clock, that little... Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>
hungry. I could eat a saber-toothed tiger. Well, anyway, half a one. Well, this isn't getting me breakfast. Here, Fido. You're cranky before breakfast, too. Be quiet! Mm. Yum, yummy. My favorite vegetable, duck. like he's crazy. That is correct. Absolutely 100% correct. So that's the way it is, eh? All right, then. Fine thing. No 
swimming. Other cavemen get to go swimming, but I never get to do anything. Well, what are you looking at? Don't just stand there. Do something. Now go get it. The big lummox. <laughs> Now, isn't that clever? The hunter's helper. <laughs> now, come on! Not bad for a guy that never took a lesson in his life. <laughs> Wait here. Come on, Fido. Maybe that wasn't such a hot idea after all. Good night, folks.
It's uh, the sign of the old world over. It's the poor what gets uh, the blame. While the rich is all the gravy. Now ain't that a blinking shame. Put out those lights! Schultz! <laughs> When you hear the tone, it will be exactly 6.45 and one quarter. Schultz? Six and one quarter. Mm. May I present you with this little token of our esteem? For me? Danke schön, danke schön. Oh, uh, just a little going away present. Well, see you around. Kannst du nicht sein, dieser Telefon ist busy? Bleiben Sie ruhig? Bitte, mein Herr, haben Sie einen feinfennig Stick? Dankeschön. It's all yours, Von Limburger.
I'll tell you the story of the moth and his flame, but promise that you'll try to keep it quiet. The lady was a honeybee with marriage as her aim, and he lived on a fabricated diet. Now the moth told the bee, come on, honey, marry me, so tomorrow wedding bells will surely ring. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding, and today's the day that wedding bells will ring. In a suit of fancy clothes, we find our boyfriend in a doze. Twas a zoot suit with a neat pleat nicely stitched. Get up, you lazy creature. Eat your breakfast, find a preacher. Cause at three o'clock today, you're getting hitched. on the clock. There sat the bride, but she cried and cried and cried. Oh, where, oh, where has her little moth gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? Oh, my gosh, it's half past three. So our little pal, the moth, who was fed up with a cloth, decided he was late and how he ran. Ah, but a big black widow spider dropped beside him with a bang. And with hungry eyes, she cackled. Look, a man! was a man she couldn't tame. I don't want to set the world on fire, but it says the moth's attracted by a flame.
wings. My hero. Oh, shucks. Twerk, nothing. So they built a little nest, and they settled in the vest, and lived happy ever after on the cuff. But you know, folks, I never could understand what that cute little bee could see in that silly moth. Mm, what a dope. Mm. Oh, yeah! of this, folks. It says here, a constant menace to pilots are the gremlins who wreck planes with their diabolical sabotage. <laughs> gremlins. <laughs> oh, murder. <laughs> gremlins. <laughs> what a fairy tale. <laughs> Little man. Oh, brother. <laughs> the hubbub. Bub. These blockbuster bombs don't go off unless you hit them just right. Yeah? Yeah. Which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? Mm, that way. Well, gee, thanks a lot, George. Thanks a lot. What's the matter, Bunny Rabbit? Speak to me. 
Why don't you say something? I'm only three and a half years old. I like him. He's silly. <laughs> with the A card. Typical American Farm presents many interesting sights. 
This show horse is the pride of the farm and the winner of many blue ribbons. He is trained to perform in every game. First, let's see you do a trot. Now the gallop. That's fine. Now do a canter. Oh, I'm happy about the whole thing. The way that you walk, the way that you talk. Hey, hey. That's enough of that. Here we find the farmer's faithful old watchdog. Though he is no longer very active, he still does a few little odd jobs around the house. One of his chores is to fetch the newspaper. Oh, there's the paper now. I can hardly wait to see what happened to Dick Tracy. Here is a group of cute little piggies playing in the mud. Well, what are they up to? They seem fascinated by that clock. Oh, well. Here's a proud mother hen, carefully watching over her eggs, anxiously awaiting the eventful day. What a happy little family this will be. What's this? A weasel, the ruthless thief of the barnyard, watching his chance to sneak in and steal those defenseless little eggs. He draws closer and closer and closer. trees, we find many species of bird life. The birds always... Oh, look up there. No, no, over to the left. See? A little owl nestling inside the tree trunk. Here's an interesting sight. A young couple laboriously building their nest with a bit of string from here and a piece of straw from there. A little twig, a bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, a bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, string, straw, twig, string, straw, twig, string, twig, string, twig, string, twig. of the woods, field mice make their home. Here we see one of the most common types. Say, he seems to be a bit worried. Tell me, little fellow, what seems to be troubling you? I don't know, Doc. I... I just keep hearing things. Even the tiniest of insects, such as the ants, have a language all their own. Emerging from the opening comes a female of the species. If you listen very closely, you can hear her calling to her young. Modern farm is conducted on a business like, well, here are those little piggies again. Say, piggies, why don't you go off and play? <coughs> oh, well, suit yourself. Here is one of the strangest friendships that has ever been known. Natural enemies, yet living together as friends. A cat and a mouse. Tell me, 
Is it true that the cat takes good care of you? And keeps you nice and warm? Well, that's truly a friendship. Now, before we leave you, is there anything that you would like to say to your friends in the audience? And so, as the day draws to a close, and the sun sinks slowly in the west, we reluctantly take our leave of the farm. Well, the piggies again. Are they going to stay there all night? What in the world can the attraction be? Turn backward, O oh time in your flight. Make me a child again, just for tonight. And between these covers, we find these immortal favorites. Sleeping Beauty. Remember the lovely princess who was bewitched into a deep slumber until her Prince Charming came to break the spell? his name because he was no bigger than a man's thumb. Let's pay this interesting family a visit. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Thumb. Where's little Tom? Are you Tom Thumb? Uh, 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 yeah, uh, that's me. Uh, why, I thought you were no bigger than a man's thumb. How did you get so big? Uh, vitamin B1. <laughs> the Grasshopper and the Ant. The story of the industrious little ant and the lazy grasshopper. The boy who cried wolf. Wolf! Wolf! Help! Help the wolf! Wolf! Help! Help! Wolf! 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 <laughs> What a joy! 
What a dope. <laughs> There's a lad who could stand some discipline. What a dope. You'll learn his lesson someday. <laughs> Jack and the Beanstalk. The story of the boy who climbed a beanstalk, only to be met at the top by a ferocious two-headed giant who forced Jack to run for his life. <laughs> Why did you quit? Uh, he's been sick. <laughs> the wolf in sheep's clothing, the fifth columnist of his day. By means of a disguise, he preyed upon unsuspecting little sheep. Nights gave us the story of Aladdin and his wonderful lamp. All Aladdin had to do was to rub the lamp and presto, the genie appeared. I dream of genie with the light brown hair. kid again. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> what a joy. <laughs> hey, young fella. You're going to yell wolf once too often. Hey, go on, go on. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. Can't a guy have a little fun? A session in the woodshed wouldn't do that boy any harm. And here's a bird you wouldn't mind having in your own home. A goose that lays golden eggs. Hey, wait a minute. You're supposed to lay golden eggs. Not anymore, brother. I'm doing my bit for national defense. Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to get her poor dog a bone. Remember this little nursery rhyme? This little piggy <laughs> went for to market. This little piggy, he's gone for to stay home. This little piggy, he's have roast beef and smashed potatoes. And this poor little piggy, he don't have anything, all kinds of things to eat. And this little piggy, he's for to cry like anything. Wee, 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 all the way. For crying out pit sack, mother! Be careful! My corn! Cinderella and her glass slipper. The little girl Whoa! who... Whoa! Help! Help somebody! Help! Uh-uh. Oh. He's at it again. Whoa! Whoa! Help! Help the wolf!
gently piping lute, he wends us through a delightful phantasmagoria with the deathless heroes of legend and history and the entrancing figures of fiction and fantasy. And first, among our illustrious hosts, we want you to meet... Thank <laughs> you. 
with the memories of the bookland frolic. All is well. All is well. Good morning, Mr. Seal. Good morning. Good morning. Name 
one of the Boston Beans. <laughs> Come on, show up, jump. That's the old jump, boy. 
Singing in the shower, rumpty dum. Uh, singing in the shower, rumpty such a bad hopper. All you need is uh, coaching. Sure, I'll 
beat, I hear of a drum. I love a parade. When I hear a band, I just want to stand and cheer as they come. That rat, that rat, that rat, that rat, that rat, the flare of a horn. The flare of a horn. Let's see this man that wants us to stand.
star of stage, screen, and radio, Drafty 158 and three quarters. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Say, yeah, we're, we're going to show you some uh, sl 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 sensational movies. And they're just chock full of uh, mi 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 military secrets. So if there's any uh, th fifth columnist in the audience, uh, will they uh, b b b b please leave the th theater right now? Uh, th uh, thank you. America's defense effort. As the tenseness of the world situation mounts by the hour, more and more important in the defense plan looms our vital industries. Fast furnaces at white heat convert the iron ore into defense implements. Here we see the molten metal automatically conveyed and about to be poured. This is the stuff from which tanks are made. In modern blitz warfare, Air power is often the deciding factor, and the need for all types of planes has every American aircraft factory humming. <laughs> because of their proven effectiveness, various types of British RAF planes are studied and improved upon. In front of us is one of the famous English Spitfires. <laughs> With the machinery and materials approaching peak output, the need for men to man these machines grows urgent. Then came the draft. X tree, X tree, read all about the draft bill. Citizen Sugarcane says, our open door policy is responsible for the draft. All over the country, men of draft age scan their draft board lists for their number and discuss their chances of being called up. Tell you we ain't got nothing to worry about. We both got high numbers. Your number's even higher than mine. And besides, you're much too short. Yeah, they'd never take a little ruck like you. You and your education. Draftees are housed in well-planned modern army camps. Because of the outdoor life and regular hours, the boys develop hearty appetites and are fed plenty of good, wholesome food. Because, as the great General Napoleon once said, an army travels on its stomach. The army is rapidly being equipped with all types of armament, from the huge siege guns down to the machine gun nest. <laughs> Even in a modern mechanized army, the horse still has a place. Here are some army horses raised in South America. La conga! <laughs> Our new anti-tank gun is the answer to any possible tank attack. Here is one about to blast a robot tank. Here it comes. Watch the tremendous hitting power of this super gun. The tank is almost in the direct line of fire. Get ready. Aim. Fire! 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 What's the matter? Why don't they shoot? What are those gunners doing? <laughs> Mine's longer than yours. Here we see the latest long-range rapid-fire coast defense gun in action, shooting 10 million shells a second. Watch. <laughs> of government policy, new machines are constantly being developed. Here is the latest weapon, a land destroyer, 100 times faster and more effective than a tank. Look at that thing go, hurtling through space at five miles a minute. Hey, stop and let us see that machine. Hello again. 
again, folks. Hold on to your bridge work, boss. Here we go again. Thanks. The president orders all-out test of defense strength. The mighty armed forces of the nation respond to the president's command. Fortresses, pursuit ships, long-range bombers. And on the sea, our mighty Navy tries out its powerful guns. On land, our tank corps drives forward to the scene of action. Are we safe from air attack? Supposing one day a fleet of enemy bombers suddenly appeared over the horizon. Where are our defenses? Why isn't something being done? Hey, what are you talking about? Bleem! Kids Extreme!